Hello everyone, how are we all doing today? I hope you're all good. We thank God for another day. It's really a privilege to be here again today for us to have uh, this uh, chat. Today's video is actually inspired by another uh, YouTuber. Her name is Chizobam and her YouTube channel is Zobas World. I would like you to visit her channel as well to see what I'm, uh, I'm talking today. It relates to her video that she made not long ago. And in, in that video, she was talking actually about somebody who sort of living a, a, diff, a deceitful life, I would call that, not, somebody not being honest and transparent with, their, with the, what they do, the job they, they were doing abroad. And then this lady, she married somebody, the person came over uh, uh, abroad, and then she, he was trying to live a different life, dress differently, to go to work. And when, when he uh, left the house, he would not dress in the way he's supposed to, maybe he was just dressing, I think he said, uh, as a banker or something, office type of job. But actually his job is more of manual job. So just pretending and doing all that. And I just said to myself, how can somebody pretend for for how long are you doing this that this marriage is just going to last for a month or two even for a month or two how can you keep pretending or is it going to for example somebody like me be married for over 36 years how can i live if how can we live that kind of life when we can't tell each other the truth how how long do you think that kind of marriage will last so there's no need let us be who we are let us be honest let us be transparent and if, if the person we, we want to marry or have a relationship with, if they are not happy with what we do, then from the beginning, they will say, oh, no, I'm sorry, we can't go ahead. But to tell the person lies and pretend to be who you are not, how long can you keep up doing that? There are instances like that. That's why I, want, I decided to make this video, because there are other instances like this that you know, have come across in the past. We have people... You know, especially people uh, in abroad, they work so hard. You, they don't have a life. And if you come and see where they live uh, in abroad, you, you'll be shocked. Meanwhile, back home in Africa, they are building mansions. They are doing this because they want to compete with their uh, maybe brothers or, or relations or friends to see, oh, this is my house as well. It's very... <laughs> Sometimes I don't understand it. But all this competition going on, that's why people work so hard and they don't even enjoy the fruit of their labor. Because sometimes in the process of working so hard to make that happen, they, they, they pass on. And other people will enjoy that, uh, what, what they have all labored for, for so many years. So let us not compete with anybody. Let's do what we can. Let's be modest. I know that because of exchange rate, you change the money, people will go home and they will splash and they will do everything, you know, and it, it, because of the rate. But remember that when, you, when the person sees you like that, they will think that that's how it is abroad. And when they come over here, they will see that it's not that bed of roses. You have to struggle. <laughs> and then that's when problems start. You don't want to start your relationship with problems because you have not been transparent enough because you have not been honest. It, it causes a lot of problems. How can you even manage? It's beyond me. You know, because deception can lead to all sorts. It will cause you pain. It will lead to doubts and regrets and so many things. You know, and you, it will break relationship as well. Oh, you know, so it's not even worth it. Let us just leave be who we are. Tell people the own uh, uh, truth. And if they don't want to marry you or to have a relationship with you, fine. So please, let me shock you. Over here in abroad, we may, you may even have something like a um, master's degree. And when you come here, you start afresh. Some people come here and they start something different from what they studied um, uh, uh, over in Africa. They start afresh with something else. And you may be shocked that somebody who is actually your manager might be somebody with A-levels and with all your first degree and master's degree and so on. It's not important because you haven't got that experience. But that person finished from A-levels, they started working, they've got lots of experience 
experience counts here a lot more than qualification in most cases. In some areas, yeah, definitely your qualification. But in most cases, it's the experience that they're looking for. So no matter what you, 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 your um, qualification, how many degrees you, you have abroad and you come over here, you have to start from the scratch. You have to aspire harder. You have to work harder. You have to brush your, you know, do, find something that is suitable or con in, that you can do to help you to manage life uh, abroad. I have lived abroad more than I've lived um, from in my original country, Nigeria. I've lived a, a longer here than I've lived in Nigeria. So I know exactly what I'm talking about. Initially, it was a struggle. But when people see you later on, they think, oh, look at that person. But they don't know where you have been and where, you, where you're coming from. Don't look at anybody and think that, oh, look at that person, look at their husband or their wife, look at how they are, and here I am struggling. Because you don't know where they have been. Let us not compare. Because comparison damages things. People looking at others and comparing themselves with uh, others, it has caused a lot of issues. Please let us stop that. Let us be very honest with each other, especially when it comes to relationship that will lead to marriage. You are going to be married for the rest of your life, unless that is not your plan. That you know, if it works, it works. If it doesn't, then it's, it's up to you. However, you want to have rest of mind. You know, people like me, I want to have rest of mind. I want to be transparent. I want to say it as it is, and I want you to tell me as it is. There's nothing to hide. And for example, if you have a past or what you've done before that um, you, you think, oh, you're not uh, proud of, there's no point in living in the past. Let the past uh, be past. Because when, when you dwell on, uh, um, in the past, it will destroy your future. So don't dwell in the past at all because it definitely will destroy your future. So always think of the now, th think of now and also think of tomorrow and going forward. But as for the past, it's gone. And so you leave it uh, behind. Forget about what yesterday, what happened yesterday. Think of what is going to happen tomorrow. Think of what is happening today and what is going to happen tomorrow. Because yesterday is gone and it will never come back. Even if you have a regret from today till tomorrow, oh, I would have done that yesterday. Oh, I would have done that yesterday or last week. It's gone. Start afresh. Start, you know, make amend by making today work and also thinking of tomorrow and going forward. But what you must not do is to live a deceitful life, is to live a life of dishonesty, a life where you're not telling each other uh, the uh, truth. A life where you're just, people are so uh, uh, um, worried about, oh, would my husband see this or would my wife? Some, I, I, I heard that some couples will go to the bathroom with their phone in case he rings. What's all, all that? What kind of life is that? How can you? Some people have, because their phone was ring, uh, ringing and they heard it from the bathroom and they thought, oh my God, I forgot my phone and they were rushing out of the bathroom and they fell and had a nasty accident. What's that? What kind of life is that? That you cannot trust each other. So this person that was, you know, telling the wife lies, how can you even leave your phone or leave things or paperwork? Because the person will see what you're doing. Everything is, in, you know, in writing. You have contract. In any job you do here. So the person will see it one day. So how can, what, what kind of life is that? Please let us stop this. Let us live a life that, you know, life is too short for us to be deceiving ourselves and deceiving each other. It, it, happiness and togetherness and uh, honesty is the key in every marriage, in every relationship. I've always mentioned communication. Sit down and communicate. Tell each other what it is that they need to know from the beginning, because eventually they will find out. And when they find out, it will be so difficult for them to trust you again. 
So I'll leave it here. I just thought I'll just uh, not a reaction, but I'll just it was I was inspired by that video, and I thought, yeah, there are issues like this. Let me come up here and uh, chip in one or two things. Please let us be honest and be transparent in every relationship, and especially in marriage. It will help us a lot to live a decent life and to be able to go to bed and sleep. Thank you so much for listening. Until I come your way again, <laughs> I really appreciate you. Please subscribe if you have not done so. And like this video, I'm sure you will like it. You will like what I've said. So like it and uh, share it. And um, I'll see you again very soon. Goodbye and God bless. Mm -hmm.